In this video, we're being asked to find the unit rate and the equation. To do this, we need to choose a coordinate point along this blue line. The best point to choose is a point where the grid lines cross. For example, I could choose this point because the vertical grid line and the horizontal grid line cross right here. So I'm going to actually choose this point. I'll start by labeling x, the x-axis, and the y-axis. And then I'll record this point, which is 4, 40. 4, 40. And I'll just check and make sure that I know that I did this correctly. So 4 is the x. That looks good. The x comes first. And then I'll trace this over to the y-axis, and the y is 40. Then I also want to label that the x represents hours and the y represents dollars. And then I'll type that. So x represents hours, y represents dollars. And then I'm ready to fill this in over here in my unit rate formula. I'm going to draw my fraction bar and write the word per in between. And then I'll grab a different color. And I first need to find the y value. So the y value is 40. So I write 40. And then I grab my typing tool again. And I'll write dollars. And then I'll grab a different color. And I need to identify my x value. I guess I need to go back to scribble. And my x value is 4 and it's four hours. So I'll type hours. And then to find the unit rate, you divide. Currently, it's not a unit rate because the denominator is four. So 40 divided by four gives me $10 per one hour. So I'm gonna just go ahead and write D for dollars, P for per, and H for hours. In fact, I can write that down here. This is part A. What is the unit rate? $10 per hour. And we're done with part A. Next, we have to write an equation that represents this graph line. So I look back at the proportional equation, and we found k to be 10. Remember, k is the unit rate. It's also called the constant of proportionality. And I replace k with the unit rate. So I record the y, the x, the equal sign, but instead of k, I plug in 10 because we found k to be 10. And then I'll try to type this neatly down here. So y is equal to 10x is our equation. So we have completed part A and part B, and I just wanted to make sure that you knew that it wouldn't matter which point I chose as long as it's where the grid lines cross. So let's say I chose, okay, between four and six, halfway between would be five. What if I chose 550? Well, 50 divided by five is also 10. What if I chose 220? Well, 20 divided by two will also give me $10 per hour. The only point that you cannot choose, and I'm going to write this in a different color so that you remember, is zero, zero. And the reason is this. If you plug in zero, zero into the formula, you're going to get undefined. Let me show you on a calculator. Zero divided by zero is equal to undefined. In fact, if you have zero in the denominator, look, look what happens, undefined. Uh, four divided by zero, undefined. 1,800 divided by zero gives you undefined. Now, it's okay if zero's in the numerator. If you do zero divided by six, that will be zero. Zero divided by two, that's okay. But whenever you have zero in the denominator, that's a problem. Let me explain that really quick. Let's say that, you know, normally in class, I just take three of something, like three highlighters or three pencils. 
and I put it in the hand of a student and I just say, okay, here you go. Here is, okay, this hand is going to look terrible, but that's supposed to be a hand. I put it in their hand and I say, all right, you have three tiles. I need you to take those three tiles and divide that into zero groups. Well, they think about it and some people have said, you know, oh, well, I, I already have it in zero groups. But if you have the three tiles in your hand, that's one, it's in one group together. And then they think about it again and they realize you can't take three items and split it into zero groups, into no groups. It doesn't make sense. So we say the answer when the denominator is zero is undefined. So do not use zero, zero to find your unit rate. You can use any of the other points, but don't use zero, zero. All right, I thought I was finished, but there's one more point I'm supposed to point out to you, and that would be, all right, between zero and two is one. So this point right here is one, 10, and this is a very special point. When x is 1, y is the unit rate. Let me explain. If I plug this into the formula, y over x, 10 would be the y value, and x would be 1, and 10 divided by 1 is 10. Why this is special is because you can just look at the graph where x equals 1, and the y value will be the unit rate. So I'm supposed to point this out as a special point, and I'm supposed to tell you that when x is one, the y value is the unit rate. So when x is one, the y value is the unit rate.